So after understanding the profit maximization condition using the second order derivatives in a symbolic way, we are going to do it in a numerical way. And therefore, the revenue and the cost functions will be given in a numerical manner. As you can see, the revenue function is now in a numerical way as well as the cost function is also in a numeric fashion. Now, we can make a profit function from these two functions simply by taking their difference that is revenue minus cost functions. This is the revenue function minus this is the cost function. And we can do a simple um, um, step of algebra by rearranging these values and merging those values and writing them in a way where the highest power comes first and then the second highest, third highest and q raised to the power 0 here will be there. So writing them in, a, in an orderly way, we are in a position to now apply the first order condition on this profit function that we have just developed. So taking its derivative will give us this term and then this term and this term and this will reduce to 0. So the first order condition is completed once we equate the second order derivative to 0. Now we have this function, this is a quadratic function and uh, change that we brought in this function is that we took minus 1 as a common factor. Therefore, the negative turned to positive and the positive turned to negative and the negative turned to positive. We will keep this first order derivative safe because we will be taking its second order derivative, but right now we need to solve this equation in order to get the critical values of q. So here we have a quadratic equation as you can see the degree is 2 and uh, we can solve it either by completing square method or by factorization or by quadratic formula. So these are the three methods that we can use to find out the answer and the answers will be two. There will be two roots, first root and the second root because it is a quadratic equation, there will be two answers of it. But we know that the profit can be maximized on either of these and on the other value the profit will be minimized. So we have to figure out if the profit is maximized at 3 output or output of 36.5. These are both the critical values of Q. So in order to find out which one of these is going to lead to maximum and which one of these will lead to a minimum, we are going to use both of them. In this substitution process applying the second order condition to choose q that leads to maximum. So the second order condition requires that we have to take the derivative of the first order derivative. So this is the first order derivative using which we found the second order derivative. And the second order derivative is equal to this. Okay, So we should now put the values 1 by 1 that is q star is 3 and q star is equal to 36.5. Here we are putting in place of q the value of q 3 and as you can see in place of q we are writing 3. The remaining expression remains the same and on the other side we are writing in place of q 36.5 which is the other critical value and here in place of q you can see that 
we have written 36.5. So after substituting 3 and 36.5 respectively, we get this value and that value. Here the second order derivative is positive, which means that we will get a minimum here. And here the second order derivative is negative, which means that we will get a maximum here. This should not be a surprise because you already know about the conditions, how they work. So a positive second order derivative leads to a minimum and a negative second order derivative leads to a maximum. Now let us finally answer the question that our business person is interested in the most. The business owner is interested in finding out that what will be the maximized profit actually. So in order to guide him about it, we are going to use the profit function, the original profit function. Let me take you back to that. This is the original profit function which is at the top of the screen. In this profit function, I can put 3 and Q asterisk that is 36.5 to see that how this profit function gets maximized and minimized. So remember that you will use this function to put the value of Q respectively that is 3 and 36.5 and then we will get the values of profit one of them will be the maximum profit and the other one would be the minimum profit. So for Q is equal to 3 you can do it but for Q is equal to 36.5 I have put the value in the profit function and let me emphasize that it is the original profit function. So this will be the answer of it. You can verify it. So we can say that the profit will be maximized and the value of the maximized profit will be this if we produce 36.5 units of the output and if we produce 3 units of the output the profit will be minimum and that you can calculate by using it that is the profit function. So this is a DIY do it yourself for you. So to further elaborate it I made this diagram. In the first panel the panel above we can see that Q is on the x-axis and marginal cost and marginal revenue are on y-axis. In the second panel of the diagram, again Q is on x-axis and pi is on y-axis. In, in this case, the profit is at y-axis. Now you know the marginal cost curve looks like this and the marginal revenue curve looks like this. Their intersection is taking place at these two points. That is, marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue here as well as here. So in both of these points we have the equality of the two. But which one of these is um, actually the maximizing output of profit uh, we need to find out and for that um, we have chosen this point because the slope of marginal cost curve is greater than the slope of marginal revenue curve in this case which is the second order condition or the sufficient condition whereas the equality of marginal cost and marginal revenue is the necessary condition. So uh, in case of the profit function we can see that the graph will look like this at output 3 the profit is in in the loss region we can say that this is the loss region because it is in the negative region. And here the profit function has reached its highest level which is here and this is actually 16,318.44. Uh, so this is that point that we were looking for the highest level of profit 
and um, it is occurring at output 36.5 here which is also represented with q asterisk so now you see that using the mathematical tools from calculus that is first order derivative and second order derivative we have tried to make sense of the profit maximization condition of a firm and we have also tried to make the diagram uh, you know which has two panels and all of it is uh, explained using all of these tools thank you